Hey guys, Fred Bowler here. Welcome to my channel, The Wildlife Ambassador. This video is going to touch on the recent alligator incident a little earlier this month at Alleg Alexander Springs uh, between Aster and Ocala. I'm also going to give tips on gator safety, uh, reading the signs of alligators, be it in the spring, summer, fall, and winter and what to know during those times on the activities or inactivities of the alligators. It is important to note that deaths to humans caused by alligators is only up into the 20s. This is important because, statistically speaking, you're more likely to be killed by your neighbor's dog than an alligator. That's why we have to be careful of the media and their hype. The media, as always, remember guys, remember, Please, the media, as always, has to sell hype. They have to put in these nouns and adjectives that really put panic into people. So you pay attention and read their articles, and it's all for ratings. You know, words like monster, hideous, attack, bloody. I'm going to cut through all that and just get to the basics. This young couple was swimming. Uh, near the springs. It's a little river that goes down through Ale Alexander Springs. It is very uh, secluded and isolated. It is a perfect uh, wildlife habitat. It is a perfect alligator hab habitat. And we have to remember, why are there alligators on the planet? Well, like any predator, they help control the population of animals. Alligators will eat anything they can, from bugs to bears. Bears? Yeah, I actually worked a, uh, a dead bear in, a, in the river where um, it had alligator bites all over it. I don't know if the alligator just grabbed it and drowned it um, or what, what happened, but it definitely had been grabbed by an alligator. So that's an alligator's job. And it's a very important job. But as adults, there's nothing really that calls the alligator population and especially when they're bigger, there's nothing that really takes down other alligators than, rather than uh, other than other alligators. Alligators are cannibalistic, and they will, like larger males, he's either going to kill or and eat other alligators in his zone of influence in his area. They have territories that they just, that they establish. Any other gator coming in there, especially mating time, which is uh, early in the spring. They're going to add to the attrition of the gator population themselves. We know that being an apex predator, their numbers have grown after they passed protection in 1968. Uh, I believe it was 68 uh, because they were their numbers had dwindled drastically due to hunting and overcollecting. So now we have a hunt in Florida, a seasonal hunt for alligators. The meat is edible. It's not that bad tasting. It is most of the time very tough meat, unless it's prepared correctly and there is a correct way to prepare it. However, indiscriminate killing, there's still a lot of po a lot of poaching. I don't know how much of WC, uh, how many poachers they get, but there's there's a large amount of poaching going on of alligators and just shooting of them and killing of them. But anyway. There's just basic rules you have to abide by when uh, boating and, and uh, doing other water activities, kayaking, swimming in the waters of Florida. It's a fact. Alligators aren't going away. And yet you always hear the media just, it's absolute King Kong or Godzilla raiding the place when somebody gets uh, injured by an alligator or killed by an alligator. It's tragic. Yes. Nobody's saying it isn't. However, the knee-jerk hype is just a little, makes my brain hurt. So that's why I'm putting this video out. You'll see in the headlines, you know, women attacked by alligator, bloody aftermath, you know, and it's this type of crap. First of all, they were swimming. They were snorkeling in vegetated areas. Not that it has to be a vegetated area, but you're increasing your, your risk. Gators enter near it. Some gators have their babies late in the season. She may be, Gator might be guarding its babies. So you have to take these, if you're just swimming around with your head down, 
snorkeling. And I don't know the situation, but hey, I'm willing to bet she swam into this gator rather than the gator coming up and grabbing her. Of course, it could have. It could have been protecting a nest or its area. That's what they do. You have to have your eyes you know, about you everywhere when you're snorkeling in a freshwater uh, vegetated area. Actually, any, any saltwater, freshwater. There are actually several cases of swimmers swimming too close to female alligator nests and the, <clears throat> excuse me, and the alligator forcibly removing them from that area, not killing them, but grabbing them and moving them away from her nesting area. That's happened, documented. And relating to the case at Alexander Springs, she lived, it was just a bump on the head, it was a cut. Um, as we all know, this, whoever's gotten head wounds know they bleed a lot. You can get a scratch and it's going to bleed like crazy. Head, we, head wounds always bleed profusely. So she wasn't seriously injured, uh, but the political arm of the government comes in. They have to destroy these gators. Why, they're killing everybody. Look at the masses dying from gators. It's kind of like that in my eyes. Now, alligators are a trapper's economy. They make money off the alligator. By meat, by hide, plenty of wallets, boots, and all that are made from the, from the gator, and that's money for the trapper. When FWC sends out the report to the trapper, uh, tell them to go trap that gator, they don't necessarily mean just that gator. Oftentimes, many gators in the area are culled along with the gator in question. I have friends that are gator trappers. Uh, it's their economy. Very rarely do they get one gator if there's other gators in the same area. So they're going to cull that location uh, from that knee-jerk reaction. With the Alexander Springs incident, the gator might have not have been a habitual gator. It probably wasn't. And the reason I say that is because of the remote area uh, the gator was in. So the seasons of the gator, they emerge in the spring after their winter dormant time. And the dormancy, depending on temperature, is from like the middle or the end of November till the time they emerge in the spring, which could be at the end of March, April. Again, it depends on temperature. So in the springtime, that's when they're all hopped up on hormones and wanting to mate. That's when you're going to see uh, defensive behavior in males, the combat between males and the bellow bellowing between males and also females. This is a time to be very cautious around the water because they're defending their territories uh, from other gators, but they don't really care who you are coming into their ter territory. They're going to defend it. If you look a lot of uh, a lot of incidents, it's during those uh, human gator incidents. It's during that time, and then there's nesting, which is around June and past August. Uh, and again, it depends on a lot of it depends on the climate. It can be through September or even longer. Now, the egg in incubation time is a little over two months, but again. It depends on when the mama has laid those eggs, and she's got all summer to do it, and beyond. And then in the fall, um, females are still pre uh, protecting their babies in a lot of cases. And of course, the females that are protecting their, their nests, their, their eggs, their babies, uh, during incubation and after hatching, that's a protection mode. So if you look at the case histories with victims, uh, human victims on that, most of the time, the female is hissing, growling, posturing to get you away from the nest. There has been several humans that have, for whatever reason, came into the nesting area, up to the nesting area, either by swimming or walking. And the female has made contact with them, grabbed them, and led them, pulled them out of the area of her nest without killing them or injuring them, even injuring them severely. Uh, two victims uh, that were swimmers were even grabbed by the head and let out into the middle of the waterway and released. So the fall is when they're going to start reducing their food intake and they're going to start prepping for their winter dormancy, give or take the end of November until spring. They'll pretty much go into a dormancy. And again, it depends. You, know, you may see some out basking, uh, but most of the time they're going to be going into dens underground 
the takeaway from this is just to be aware. Uh, be alligator smart. Know your seasons of the gator. An unfortunate and cold truth is alligators love to eat dogs. Totally aware of your surroundings. Use your eyes and don't ever take for granted that, oh, there's no alligator in this body of water. There's no alligator in this body of water. Always, always think that there could be an alligator in reality because there could be an alligator in any body of water. You know, the simple fact that myself growing up in Florida, my daughter's growing up here, we always swam in the rivers, lakes. All my friends have, uh, my friends can continue to be active on the river, swimming, partying, and nobody's been eaten. The reason they haven't is because of the awareness. Everybody's looking around, everybody's noticing things, and anything out of the norm. And in the event that there's always that that one stray gator that may come up to find different territory, um, we still know the signs are still staying aware of our surroundings. That's the best thing. You just don't walk along a shoreway in bliss looking at the butterflies and stars and whatever and not think about what is in the water near where you're walking. That's a basic rule of survival in Florida. And it's just a fact, people. It's just a fact. It's not to scare you. It's to make you aware. It's to aware you. So just a little bit of awareness there. I'm not a bunny hugger. Uh, bunnies scratch and bite, so they scare me. But I do want to put facts out there for you guys. If you'd like to comment or ask questions, please do so. And it would be greatly appreciated if you subscribed. All right. Have a good one, guys.